What is going on guys, it's the Muck Designs here and I'm coming to you guys with a brand new uh, logo tutorial on how to make a text logo in Adobe Illustrator. And what the first thing you guys want to do is go to File, New. Make sure the width is at 1280 by 1280. I like to do that because it's perfectly square. Click OK. And this is going to come up. And what you want to do first is go to this palette down here, switch the colors, make sure it's black and click the stroke and click none so there's not going to be any stroke if you let's say pen tool it all right what you want to do now is select the rectangle tool and this is going to basically be the basis of what I'll be doing and I'm going to go ahead and make a logo that says R A T E D so rated and uh, I'm just going to drag this rectangle all the way down like this all right so we have one rectangle now we're going to click alt copy it and drag it down and as you can see the center is right here so we're going to we're going to half this basically just grab here and drag and it'll eventually stick just like that what you want to do now is select it hold shift and select this one click alt and just drag it down till it clicks and do the same thing again don't worry about the size or the dimensions right now that's fine and you're gonna select the in between parts the thin parts and just delete these you don't need these alright so as you can tell it's perfectly spread out in the middle and basically this is gonna be our setup and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the R what I wanna do is Hold it down and select select the ellipse tool. Hold shift and drag until it clicks, just like that. All right. What I want to do now is turn the opacity down just a little bit, so I can see through the circle. And I'm going to make another circle in this gap. So click. There you go. And I'm just going to drag this into the center of the big circle. Hold shift and make sure they're both selected. Come down here to the shape builder tool, click it. Hold alt and then delete the center. Just like that. After you've done that, you're going to want to select this layer, select this layer, and select the circle. And just delete this part of the circle. Alright. So I'm going to turn this opacity all the way up again. So now we have this little thing here, I guess. And what I want to do now is move this a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take one of these sticks, click Alt, and just drag it down. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do now is make sure this is lined up with this. So I'm just going to rotate it. And I'm just going to put it up here. Let's see. Let me check the dimensions. And looks pretty fun. Pretty good. All right. So basically doing this is a lot of cutting what you want to do is select this layer hold shift hold shift and just essentially select all the layers after you've done that just cut this cut this there we go and then cut this layer right here now the reason I'm doing this is in Adobe Illustrator is because Photoshop is decent but doesn't get everything done correctly it it has no vectors so I highly suggest you work in Adobe Illustrator if you want the best results but I mean it's up to you guys but it takes a lot less effort to do it in Adobe Illustrator as a final product so yeah what I'm going to do now is oh, let's drag this up here let's see that looks pretty good 
going to delete. Nope. Delete this. All right. I'm going to shrink this. And you can basically see the form of the R right now. But what we need to do is make sure that this line is not connecting to the circle right here. So I'm going to click the circle and I'm going to go to stroke which can also be found in window stroke and it should come up right here and just add weight to it. Keep going up. Make sure a line stroke is on the outside which is the far right and just make sure that's big like that. Object path outline stroke and just use the shape builder tool and just delete oops didn't mean to do that all right there we go so you can finally see the R and I'm gonna make an A now to do that I'm gonna take this shape right here the bottom one since it's untouched and transform it rotate I'm gonna go See 45 degrees, it's a little much, so I'm just going to keep rotating it until I think it's, let's see, that looks good. So I'm going to Alt, copy it, transform, reflect it, and there we go, I'm going to delete these. So now you can see the basis of the A. Um, these legs down here are way too long, so I'm just going to select this, select these two. Shape, the Shape Builder tool is your best friend while cutting, so it's it's really easy to do. And I'm just going to cut those. I'm going to cut this top part. And there we go. Alright. And it's not really an A if it has a little bottom part, so I'm going to get rid of that too. All right, so now it's R A. The T is going to be pretty easy, guys. Um, what you want to do is this part of the A, just Alt and copy it, and just drag it out to around here. That looks pretty good. And this, you're just going to want to stroke this layer by adding weight to it. And you guys don't really have to fool around with the layers panel right here. Everything you need is on the screen. You just need to click the correct um, layer you guys want to click. It's really easy, unlike Photoshop, where you have to go in and try to find the layers. And I'm going to keep adding weight. Let's do 14. Object, path, outline, stroke. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this part. There we go. Let's see. Get rid of this. We don't need. Actually, let's see. Let's move this in a little bit. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and stroke this part because the A doesn't necessarily flow into the T do 14 again object path outline stroke shift and then just delete that part just go around and delete these parts all right looking good so far now I'm gonna do the E and the D which is gonna be pretty simple guys it's already starting to take form right here all I really need to do is get the circle tool hold shift until it clicks just like that and right here should be good now I'm going to turn down the opacity and that should be good and now I'm going to select from this layer to the bottom layer there we go I'm going to go to the center of the circle Select both circles, delete the inner circle, select the top, select the bottom, 
Oops. This inner circle a little bit bigger. There we go. All right. Let's select the. There we go. All right. So now we have the form of the circle. Now what we want to do is turn the opacity all the way up. All right, there we go. And select this layer, select all three of the layers and just delete them. All right, as you guys can tell, it's almost done, but not quite yet. What I want to do is take this and cut it down a little bit. And I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to select this layer. I'm going to make the width 14 for both of them. Object, path, outline, stroke. And I'm just going to cut this right here. All right, there we go. Oops. All right, as you guys can see, it says R-A-T-E-D, but the D kind of runs into the T, which I don't like. So I'm gonna go ahead and stroke this. Make sure it's 14 again. Object, path, outline stroke, and then delete this part right here. All right, just like that. So it says R-A-T-E-D, and you guys can see that. Um, what you guys want to do now is this kind of rigid, the lines, and I kind of want to make it a little bit smoother. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and select this entire layer. Just, just select the selection tool and just drag across. And now you can just move it about. So I'm going to put it there. I'm going to highlight all of it, Alt, and copy all of it again. So just put this layer off to the side a little bit. So if you make a mistake on this, you can just go ahead and go back to this layer. Okay, I'm going to select all of this, come to this tool right here, the Pathfinder tool, and then Shape Modes, and then Unite. So what this does is essentially makes it all one layer. So it's just one shape here, so I can just move it about freely. What I want to do now is click the circle tool, make a circle the same width as one of these squares, and now I'm going to uh, make the corners a little bit curved, just like that. And you guys can tell it's it looks a little bit better like that. And I'm going to do this for every little corner. Sometimes you will enter this problem where the circle is not touching the rim and basically if you try to delete this you'll delete the entire shape and you don't want to do that so you have to be very careful to know that the circle is not just like that All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all of these Oops. And should just have two more. This should be done. And I'm not being exact right now, guys, since I'm doing a tutorial. But you guys can spend your time and go in and try to make sure that these lines are perfectly done with the circles. And let me do this last one. All right, so um, completely finished with this. I want to thank you guys for watching. And um, to save this, simply highlight it all. I mean, you don't necessarily need to highlight it. But make sure 
the canvas is completely empty and there's nothing but the text logo you want in there go ahead and put it in the center and file save for web and go ahead and just add the percent to 200 and it should resize it and just go ahead and click save that's all you guys need to do to make the text logo you guys want if you need any help just leave a comment in the script in the comments and I'll get back to you guys or email me in my um, in my about me and my YouTube uh, I want to thank you guys for watching and yep thanks guys